Hey guys, in this video, I'm just going to quickly go over the past, what is this, three and a half ish years of POE leagues. Just put them in a tier list, kind of go over them briefly, just kind of good stuff about them, some of the bad stuff about each. Uh, Ritual, I think it's a really good league. I think the league mechanic is really bad, but it's an okay league mechanic. Just confined in that little circle, rewards are just com pretty much completely random, not that fulfilling. You get some cool stuff like synthesis items and stuff from them sometimes, but uh, for that patch, League as a whole, uh, really good. Maven came out, kind of shaped a lot of the way we play still today. Um, Atlas passives, there are, I think there were the baby Atlas version passives. It wasn't the whole Atlas tree yet, it was, it was still a small one. Uh, we played Slams, and uh, yeah, I only played Slams, uh, I think, in Ritual. I don't think I played it in any other build, just Slams. Earth, Shatter, uh, what do you want to call it? Champion, and. That was the uh, gauntlet that I won, so GG on that one. Uh, yeah, bad league mechanic, I would say. Really good patch overall, though. Uh, I don't think this was around the period where we weren't getting too many uh, revamps and pat. I mean, like overall changes to uh, like skill balance and stuff like that. Very little, but overall changed the way the game played, and it was a good patch. This video is sponsored by Boot.dev. Ever want to become a programming god? Well, now you can with boot.dev. You will learn back-end web development from start to finish in the Python and Go programming languages. The folks at boot.dev believe the smartest way to learn code is to make sure that you're never bored. Boot.dev is online, self-paced, and feels like a captivating RPG game. The platform is designed to get you writing a ton of code because getting your hands on the keyboard and shipping projects is the only real way to learn. Many members of my family have done a lot of programming in their occupations. It is a strong, reliable career path with amazing earning potential. According to Stack Overflow, the median salary for back-end developers in the U.S. in 2023 was over $100,000. The Boot.dev Discord community is active and there to help. If you ever get stuck on your coding challenges, click the link in my description box and use my code ALKISER to get 25% off your first payment for boot.dev. That's 25% off your first month or your first year, depending on the subscription you choose. Thanks boot.dev for sponsoring this video. And then we got, I think it's ultimatum next. Ultimatum, uh, B probably. It was a good league. Was, like the league mechanic was a lot more fun than ritual but i mean it was kind of a continuation uh, mostly the same stuff not too much different if i remember right correct me if i am wrong uh mapping ultimatum the trial master all that stuff was pretty good um, really exciting rewards and doing the trial master when we got them was really nice he usually give you good stuff back uh i played slams i think first character i think i played berserker slams this time i think yeah i think it was was it Berserker Slams? I think so. And then I played Ball Lightning after that with uh, mana. What was that mana stuff called? I don't fucking know. Uh, the mana stacking build was strong. A lot of DPS, a very high DPS character back then. Uh, you need a strong character for this uh, to do big ultimatums. The monsters were quite powerful. They threw a lot of monsters at you, so you need a pretty good character. But it was a, it was a, it was a better than average league, I would say. Not the greatest, but definitely not the worst. Uh, what's next? Expedition, right? This league was, I mean, we still use Expedition today. It's a decent league. I don't think it's the best, but league mechanic rewards were nuts back then. They're still very useful today, especially in the early, like, first couple days of the league. ROG and all your 2 gen currency, it's, it's, it's good stuff. Um, what was the meta like? I don't remember exactly. I know I know. I played, I think I played Slams and 2 Helix. So they had, like, this patch, they added, I believe, Helix, Bone Shatter, and Rage Vortex. All three of those skills are really cool for uh, the melee mans. So, uh, I don't think I played Bone Cheddar yet this league. It was, uh... I think I played Slams in the Helix, and I was, like, on the Helix train for a while. Helix was absolutely nuts on launch. Hit, like, 3 to 3.25, something like that average. 3.5 times average on big, like, good single target bosses and stuff. It was, like, nuts damage with, like, 260% or something at level 20. I don't remember exact numbers, but I like some ridiculous numbers on it. Uh, that skill was pretty cracked out. And uh, anything else about this league? I don't know. It was just better than average league. League mechanic kind of boring, but very rewarding. Scourge League, I believe. Uh, I think that's a C or cool stuff to find out, like you know how your weapons are gonna like corrupt or whatever. 
tier one, tier two, tier three, I believe, right? Three tiers of corruption on these, uh, some of the items make some pretty nasty, crazy item power creep wise. But, uh, I think overall, like, League was just kind of meh. Like, these three leagues, the patches, patch notes, I feel like have a, not too much difference. And then I think this was like another one of those, right? There, there's like a little bit of like sprinkle of like breath of like fresh life and skill balance and patches and, you know, some new skills here and there. But, I think Scourge was it's just like, can we get something a little, kind of wanted something a little more, I think. Uh, mobs were crazy too, and some of these mobs hit really hard from the Scourge mechanic. Uh, I played Helix, I think, the entire league, if I remember right. I didn't play a ton, a ton, but uh, yeah, it was like Helix and I think it was Seismic Trap era for a lot of people. I didn't play that stuff. I think it was around this time before, like Seismic Trapping and stuff, right? I think, uh, yeah, Scourge, C. Kind of a, I would put this slightly under the average league. Like these are kind of average leagues, but uh, Scourge, meh, I would say, meh league. Then we go, a lot of people hated this league, right? I think this is an A for me. So Archnem, I think Arch, like I could be wrong on some of these, but like I think Archnem is uh, the league where Exarch and Eater came out. Is that right? I think, but they reworked all the rare mobs and all these like weird ways that the, uh, you know, Archnem modifiers and all that stuff. And the league mechanic was just like, kind of bad I'll give it that but the whole patch as a whole it's kind of similar to ritual where today it's still exarch and eater influence it plays a huge role in the way the game feels it's really good these patches are really good I think this is the patch that added the giant atlas passive too right might have been scourge no I think it was this league right this league added the uh giant atlas passive the whole thing so we were playing with the baby version right for a while and I think this was uh this was the big one and then, uh, what else? So, Exarch Eater, Omniscience builds came out. Yeah, the Ashes. Giga OP Amulets. Uh, anything else? I think I played Helix in this league. More Helix. But yeah, the, the Eater and the Exarch stuff, really breath of fresh air for the game. I like these big revamps like Maven. Uh, Exarch Eater patch and, uh, you know, Uber bosses that come a couple leagues later. That stuff is really refreshing and good. This was, I enjoyed this league a lot. Uh, a lot of people dying on this league. This league had some nutty ass fucking uh, ball, uh, rare mob scaling, so give it an A. I think it was good. Good league to me. I agree that the league mechanic in Arch was probably a little wonk, but I think it's a good league. Then we got all. Sentinel, right? Sentinel S. This is what I consider typically the main formula for S here is going to be. The mapping is really, really good in this league. Everybody appreciates that. Softcore, hardcore, SSF, doesn't matter. Uh, mapping is really good. Sentinels, Recombinators. Recombinators is really fun to craft on, um, craft with. I think this added Uber Bosses too. Pretty sure, yeah. This league added Uber Bosses, I believe. And then Uber Bosses, they didn't have much for rewards, but you know, it sh started shaping the way we play the game currently with uh, the Uber Boss, kind of how we farm that stuff. And they were, you know, Uber Boss, blah, blah, blah. Uh, what else in this league? Anything? I think I played, uh, this is where I started playing, like, Omni, I believe. Omni stuff, and I think I played Reap after that. Big boy Reap with, like, Cascade. I think this is the league I farmed, uh, <laughs> five Apothecaries or whatever in SSF, a aka I farmed one for, like, two weeks straight, and then I just some fucking duped it all up, and then somehow I ended up with two Mage Bloods. I don't know how that happened, but... Uh, this league really good really fun fun just fun league to play it's interesting about this league is everybody was like this league looks fucking awful whenever they showed like the trailers and stuff and then you know it's like actually a sick ass league who would have guessed um to me this day Calandra league i believe is next this is the worst league like current like relative to like what has come out recently or like whatever you know this league is the worst of all leagues ever in Path of Exile, pretty much. Uh, League mechanic was, like, you, like some monsters, like, 500 times more life or something retarded, what, whatever. The League was, like, last League, Sentinel League, but just minus on all the way across the board. Everything about it was just worse. And just, uh, not a fun League. I played it for, like, two days. I know it got some buffs later on and got a little bit better, but I played, the, this is the first League I've ever played, like, not even a week, and then I just quit. I quit after, like, two days. I think they nerf like suppression on gear. They nerf there's just nerfs all the way across the board, so it just 
hey, your character has to work harder and you have to have a better gear and far more to do anything in the game. And we, the league really didn't offer anything unique in its own. So it's just like a watered down, to me, like a gig of watered down Sentinel League. And I just, I, I knock left. So that's a uh, Kalandra League. I consider that the worst league by far in the past three and a half ish years is awful, awful, awful league. And then we got all, this one's unique, I think. This one's interesting to me because Sanctum S tier, really good still, creates its own economy even still today. Original Sin, all this stuff, all the divines it pumps out, uh, relics, you know, people who don't do a lot of Sanctum, some of those relics sell for like 20, 30, 40 divines, I think some of the good ones, plus two reveals and plus two merchants, stuff like that, and quantity relics and stuff. Uh, I love Sanctum. I've loved Sanctum every league ever since Sanctum uh, S. Doesn't really affect mapping, but like it's it, this is like side mechanic at its best. It's, you know, kind of like when Delve first came out, that was really really good. But Sanctum still holds up today. It's really good. Um, Eternal Damnation, Giga OP item. Uh, what else? Cool stuff from Sanctum. Uh, this first league I played Bone Shatter. I played Bone Shatter the whole league. Love Bone Shatter. Uh, great skill back then. Uh, yeah, this is just side mechanic at its best, patch, uh, league, sanctum, very, very, very good. Good, 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 good league. Make more like these. Uh, Crucible. I don't know what to say about Crucible. I think it's like a PC, BC. I don't think, uh, like, it's probably, eh, it's, ar it's around this level. Like, I don't think, yeah, I mean, it's probably like C. Crucible, not that good. Like, the potential of item crafting of like some of the giga weapons you can make from it and giga shields you can make from it was nuts but ultimately like running around with like five you know looting a bunch of you know in my case i played bone shattered looting a bunch of despot axes and as my axes all the time and just seeing what passive trees they have on it and it's just like kind of silly i think because you're always like running around in your inventory with the stick essentially or whatever you're working on with the uh, crucible mechanic whatever uh Anything else about this? Yeah, I don't really remember the league. It's very for forgettable. I played it for a little while. I think uh, this league I actually played, um, if I remember right, I played Ruthless more than the actual league. This is a league where I just said, uh, this league isn't interesting enough for me. And I just ended up playing uh, Ruthless, which was okay. It's just like, yeah, yeah, I played Ruthless. So I played Ruthless that league. Uh, okay, league. I don't think it's terrible, but I would say it's under the average. Uh, what do we got next? This is going to be Tota. Trial of the Ancestors. Uh, I think I put it at the top of C for this. Toda's like, league mechanic isn't very fun. That fucking melee guy that one shots you and just like running around channeling totems and turtle mob making all the things OP tanky. And uh, it was like side content at its, I don't want to say worse, but not good side content where it's completely out of maps essentially. Um, I don't think the league was particularly awful. It just wasn't great. Uh, what happened this league? Anything that I can think of? Uh, I played Bone Shatter again, and then I played some Raid Vortex. And then I played... I don't know what I played after that. I don't think I played the league too, too long. It was kind of a mid-meh league. Uh, they brought back Sanctum this league, because we didn't have Sanctum in Crucible, which also sucked. So we went from Sanctum to Crucible League with no Sanctum, and then they put Sanctum back into Tota, and I think I just pretty much did a lot of Sanctum in this league instead of anything. So... Uh, yeah, Trial of the Ancestors League, pretty whatever, under average, I would say. Not great. Uh, we got Big Boy League here, Affliction. Better than Sanctum? Better than Sentinel? I don't know. I'll just consider all these about the even. Like, I'm not going to consider like any of these better than the other. They're all really good in their own right. But I think Affliction S also. Just, it's the same thing as Sanct Sentinel, essentially, where it's like mapping it at its pretty much best, but it has a lot of good stuff going for it. Uh, no matter what kind of player you are, Affliction, very good. The jewels from the boss guy were fun, and then we get these, like... This, this shit's crazy, right? You get, like, three skill tree, uh... Ascendancy skill trees extra to choose from. And there's a lot of building around that, too. And farming the charms is really fun. It's just a really... It's just fun. Fun game. Fun league. Uh... What did I play? I played, I played a lot this league. This league, I pretty much played the entire league. All the way through. Until the next league came out. So it was like Bone Shatter I played, I played Penance Brand, I played something else. Uh, Splitting Steel, yeah, Splitting Steel was the big one. OP Splitting Steel, got nerfed the next league after this one, but Giga Splitting Steel. 
Uh, some of the crazy stuff people were doing from MFing. I'm sure Softcore really likes this league. Uh, really good league. No matter what league you're playing, no matter what you're doing, it was very fun. Good top tier Path of Exile, I would say. Affliction, very good. Uh, Necropolis, I think a lot of people would put this like D or C. I'm putting it. I actually think it's like here, like top of B. I would probably put it A, but I agree with some of the nonsense of this league. So, league mechanic at itself, not very fun, but it, I find that league mechanic fulfilling from the Necropolis. Like, hey, I want to craft a Giga Juice thing. You look at it from a logical perspective, you kind of, you know plan it out for your big craft and you know the culmination of a lot of work of uh figuring out how i'm going to craft this item that i want whether it be a chest or a weapon or whatever and then you know it paid out and i did that like maybe like six or seven times and i found it very fulfilling to do it each time i did it uh crafting big 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 uh items with the uh, leak mechanic um t17 maps I like this i consider this a similar revamp to archnem and ritual where maven came out in ritual and then archnem was like Exarch Eater, but this one's the T17 stuff. I just don't think the execution was on point, but I still found it really fun and enjoyable and refreshing for the game to do the T17 maps. Uh, map mods are retained, and then not being at the Chaos Orb was Troll, so that took a while, but I think it's in an okay state. Uh, right now, I think it could still be improved on, probably should be improved on, but I think it's in an okay state in its current. Uh, another Giga rewarding league. Like, if you know how to uh, set up your map for Giga, juicing and all that kind of stuff and you can really make huge payout which is probably a little too overtuned but we just had affliction league so i was like overtuned rewards into overtuned rewards if you know what you're doing two times in a row i'm okay with that um dual strike absolutely cracked out i've had a lot of fun playing dual strike i played bone shatter until i had the gear for dual strike and i just played a shit ton of dual strike uh, i played some uh, started playing blade blast but uh, i didn't really feel like playing too 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 much more so i'm not currently playing right now but a lot of, there was actually a lot of interesting builds I've seen come out this league. There's a, the meta overall was like kind of decent, I think. Uh, some cool new items, right? Some item reworks. Uh, what is that? I forget the Yoka suffering and stuff like that, right? There's, there's some cool rewards at most. Um, I've never liked Sextants, so it's nice to see Sextants removed. But I think some of the Scarab stuff is a little monotonous and overdone. I have a lot to say about this league because it's the most recent one. It's the most fresh in my head. Some of these like from the past, but uh, Sextants, I, I've never cared for them. But I don't think the Scarab thing, I think it's better for sure. But buying 10 Scarabs here, 10 Scarabs here, 10 Scarabs here, you know, like, or, you know, maybe even like 50 of each, 50 Scarabs of each tier and then doing that a lot and a lot. Maybe, maybe there's some way we can mitigate a little bit of that or something. I don't know. But um, what else? Oh. Tedious league mechanic with the buying quad tabs just to hold the stuff and the UI was kind of bad with that. I agree with that. The UI of the league mechanic bad and then, you know, hoarding all your uh, coffins and stuff is a little ridiculous, I think. But I had fun this league. I think it's a good league. I think the execution is a little bit off, but... It, it could have been this territory, this territory if it was done like a little better. I think all the stuff is cool. Or, you know, at least A, but I put it B. But underrated, I think, League. I've enjoyed it. I think a lot of stuff is cool. Just needed cleaned up. And, uh, yeah, pretty all the way across the board. Calandra is super bad. Don't do these leagues. Uh, these leagues, all these up here are pretty good. Arjuna mechanic sucks, to be fair. Ritual mechanic sucks. But, like, these are just, there's not much to say negative about any of these in here. These three leagues are all just good, 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 good Path of Exile. These are pretty good Path of Exile. You have to look a little deeper to find your good Path of Exile here. And these are like under average, I would say. But they're okay, and it's still Path of Exile. And we're having a lot of fun in these leagues. And Calandra, again, big shit. Big shit league. Uh, thanks for watching. That's uh, recent, past three and a half years, I believe. If I messed up, messed up anything or if I misremembered anything, uh, sucks. Let me know. Whatever. GG.